Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Resonance TV. You're in my garage today. I'm doing a system test on my PA system and I thought I'd give you a run through and let you see what all I use with my PA. Um, show you my in-ear setup, show you my guitar setup, and show you my speakers. Um, I think that a lot of folks would like to get their system down and get it nice and tight and easy to set up and quick to set up and that's kind of what I was trying to do with my rig when I put it together. So let me give you a run through of that and let you see what, what I've got here. Maybe it can help you out. Um, subscribe to the page and if you have any comments or questions just put them down below this video thanks all right here's what my rack looks like it's a pretty big one um, in the top of it and the heart of it is my pre is 16 by 4 by 2 from almost 10 years ago when they first came out been an awesome board for me uh, allowed me to get my in-ears to just sound awesome the mains to sound great recall which is a big deal uh, when that first happened you just didn't have that on lower price boards and uh, you know multiple buses out just everything you need so I love this board and actually I'm gonna get the Studio Live 3 here shortly so this is almost at the end of its life it's gonna go into my rehearsal room and be my practice mixer for the future but uh, it's done really great for me and been really reliable so the guys at PreSonus just killed it with this board so let's all go on down from there into my rack uh, you can see here the first thing in my rack is the ART headphone amp. And um, this amp, headphone amp is awesome. I run straight to this from the aux outs on the board for most everybody. Uh, and they're using wire, wired headphones or in-ears, actually Shure's, um, you know, the different series of Shure in-ear monitors from the very lowest to, to the very highest, except for, well, I wouldn't say the highest, to the five series. Uh, in ears so they come out of here you've got bass treble and volume out of there and then um, they're on basic wire you can get at Radio Shack so it's pretty cool pretty easy and cheap um, the DVX 166 XL I'm using on the mains for uh, just a little bit of bus compression across the top not on the subs but only on the mains uh, below that the micro limiter however is on the subs and doing a little bit of limiting and separate to the 166. And then below that is the Ashley crossover, uh, just for doing my crossover point. And then my MX200 Lexicon, I'm doing just a vocal verb on that for the mains. Um, on the mains also I'm using a delay from the board and the other reverb is going to the in-ears. So that's what's going on with the effects in the board and external as well. The Sennheiser G3 you see there is my inner wireless. Um, I'm the only one on wireless with in-ears right now. Um, below that is my guitar wireless, the Line 6 uh, G90, which I love. It's been great. The Line 6 X3 has been one of my favorite things I've ever bought and got the sound that I've always wanted to get guitar-wise. So I haven't gotten rid of it yet. I've looked at uh, a lot of different things. Uh, the X3, you know, is just an older unit, but and there's the Fractal, and of course there's the uh, Kemper and I've tried the Kemper but I have not gotten to the point yet where I've made the change so I'm still on line 6 one of the great things about the line 6 unit is the short board it just connects straight by a cat 5 cable to it it powers the board does all your switching volume and wah all through that one cat 5 it's just hard to beat when you consider what a pedal board entails I love this pedal um, Below the X3 are my TPV IPR 3000 power amps. Extremely light class D, sound awesome, and uh, have been really good to me. Um, another thing that I didn't mention was my loop pedal. I use this for backing tracks. A lot of people have asked me about. A lot of people have asked me about this loop pedal, and basically, I go online, find a MIDI track of whatever song it is I want to put a backing track together. Uh, take the MIDI file pull it into Pro Tools, and then I repurpose it with one of the uh, internal synthesizer, software synthesizers, uh, basically make a new track sound-wise, apply a click to it, and then separate them left and right, and then feed them into the Jam Man and record them that way. And then I can bank up and bake down through my different songs right here from the Jam Man and play back full songs um, of loops and well, they're not loops, they're whole songs basically, but I can have a click track and all that to one side and loops to the other side. So it's a pretty cool way to do that and I can do it with my feet so I don't have to reach out with my hands to do anything while I'm playing guitar. So that's why I use this. It's easy to carry, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's easy to 
manage with my feet and I can back it up all on SD card and computer so it's a great way to do it um, I know people do it other ways but I love it this way okay I have this Marshall class 5 on stage as well and it's being powered or actually preamped by the X3 straight to the top of it so it's straight in the class 5 sort of clean anyway like a plexi sound and then I hit it with the, the X3 and the X3 has a switch on the back for uh, line level or amp level so it's on amp level coming straight into this and I just use it to check my uh, you know on stage sound to uh, put a little on stage sound out there and then I also use it to uh, let people sit in and, and jam on my rig so that's what I have it there for but it doesn't not it's not mic'd at all okay I have a variety of speakers that I use but they're almost all turbo sound I ran across turbo sound years and years ago well I actually heard a turbo sound back in the 80s when Iron Maiden was one of the first artists to buy a whole PA system for their tours uh, so I'd heard about turbo sound and over the years I'd run across them and then a dealer well actually the store I used to work for became a dealer and one of the guys I worked with had a set just like this he had a 12 on top this is the TXD 112 and he had the 218 cabinet on the bottom uh, the two I call it TXD 218 and it's a great rig pretty compact I mean you still need a trailer but uh, for a big show you can still put out a massive amount of sound for three four hundred five hundred people with this thing and it sounds killer it's super transparent that's what I love about the turbo stuff I fell in love with it when I started using it and um, I tell you what I cannot say better things about the design and the sound of it uh, one thing I will say though is that turbo sound was bought by Behringer and I was really afraid when they went to Chinese manufacturing that they would lose everything basically that I loved about them but I'm happy to say the passive cabinets like this one right here which I bought refurbished uh, are actually great they sound just as good and um, but they're passive okay so one of the things I want to say is that I do have a set of M18 turbo sound and these things are powered and they've already died on me twice uh, with the power amp so I don't know there's bad you know electronic manufacturing and you know cold solder joints or what but uh, the, they're having issues with the powered ones so I'm still going with passive for the most part I love passive and having the option of you know not being stuck if some your know, power amp goes bad in your your uh, your power setup so I'm still mostly passive but uh, I do have a set of JBL S10 or I'm sorry 710s the RX 710s and uh, I have these M18s as well uh, the JBLs have been great they just not uh, my thing they just have a color to them that I'm not in love with um, but they would probably be good for just about anything else. I mean, I've used them for monitors on side fields and they were great for that, just dry and they sounded great. Um, I do have a set, well, let's just go through the speakers I have. I've got the, like I said, the TXD-112s. I've got the TCX-8s, which are the smaller uh, speakers here that I use for acoustic. Uh, the TXD-218s, uh, the Milan-18s. I've got a set of, um, TCS series uh, 59 TCS 59 speakers which are 12s this massive horn in it and these things sound killer I got them for like 400 bucks used and you can find tons of these turbo stuff not tons you can find them on eBay and you can find these TXD series TCS series stuff really cheap if you want to get a passive speaker that just kicks ass that's what I would do so that's kind of what I use I actually for the band I just use the 218s and the 12 pretty much and then uh, sometimes I'll use the powered uh, 18 with the 12 or I could use the powered 18 with the 8 but I haven't done that yet I just use the 8s for acoustic so that's kind of my setup on everything uh, let me know if you have questions subscribe to the page and thanks for hanging out